Okay, here's the second 3D challenge. Again, this has nothing to do with plasma cutting or routing. This is just an exercise in understanding how to draw in 3D in PlasmaCam, in Design Edge. Let's take a look at this. It's a grouped image. They're all individual open paths, but they are grouped together. Let's take a look at it in 3D. The first person to draw something very similar to this. The dimensions don't have to be the same. These particular open paths are four inches long. But the um, uh, as long as you have the design concept and you can draw something similar for me, that's all I need. I'm going to give $50 to the first person who can draw something similar in Design Edge. I did use a spreadsheet. Uh, I will tell you later in a later video how this was done. But I want to see who can do it based on the knowledge that you have using Design Edge with the full 3D capability. You will need that and an Excel spreadsheet or an open office spreadsheet or something along those lines to manipulate the numbers. Send your information to add me now at mail.com. Send your completed file to me so I can look at it, load it into my computer and look at it. Uh, I do offer online training free of charge. We'll hook our computers together through Zoom and I can walk you through many, many problems with Design Edge. Um, I can teach you basics or if you already know the basics and you're just having a problem, I can work with you together on your computer and work out whatever problem you have. All you need is basically two monitors uh, you need your Design Edge computer uh, with internet access to it. And you need a second monitor. The second monitor does not have to be connected to your tower. It can be a separate PC or a laptop or an iPad. As long as you have another screen that can go into the Zoom meeting room so that you can look at my Design Edge screen while I look at yours on my second monitor, we can work together and we can have a little fun. Let me know if this video has helped you.